Graph technologies have become very popular in recent years, and with the launch of Graph Studio and Autonomous Database, it has become really simple to get started with graphs. Let me give you a quick overview of what graph databases are about, and how our customers are using them, just so that next time someone is telling you about the fascinating new kinds of analysis you can perform with a graph database, you have an idea of what he or she means, at least at a high level. Before I start, I'd like to clarify one thing. When I refer to graph technologies, I'm not talking about graphs such as pie charts or, or bar charts. What I mean is graphs in the sense of graph theory, in which entities are represented as vertices in the network and relationships are represented as edges between these vertices. Just like in this social network here. While in the relational world, where I'm storing the data in tables, here I'm storing information in this network-like form. I have vertices of type person, edges of type connection, and the vertices of type person can have properties such as a name. One interesting aspect of graph databases is that they don't have a fixed schema. In my social network example, I can add a new vertex of type company and a new edge of type works for, and this will not break my existing applications or analyses. But the main reason for the popularity of graph databases is that you can perform analytics which are very hard to do on other kinds of databases. By means of graph algorithms, you can, for example, automatically determine communities in the graph, finding parts which are more closely interconnected, or uh, identify important vertices, such as the one in the middle, which is the only connection between two communities. Technically, what makes graph databases, uh, or converged databases such as the Oracle database, different from conventional relational databases is that they treat relationships, so the edges between vertices, as first-class objects in the database, meaning these edges are explicitly stored. This is what enables fast reversal of these edges and makes it possible to perform, for example, path queries between pairs of vertices very quickly. In the social network example, this capability translates to finding indirect connections by performing shortest path of reachability analysis. In the following slides, I would like to highlight four specific capabilities of graph databases and how our customers are using them in their applications. The first capability I've already mentioned, using graph algorithms for new insight. Quite a few of our customers are using graph technologies to structure and organize data from different operational systems, whether it be in a data lake or in a data warehouse, for a 360-degree view of their customers. By means of graph algorithms, they can identify communities with similar properties or interests, for example. Take the two customers in the middle. If the customer on the right is new and largely unknown, just by the fact that a well-known customer transfers money into his account, uh, and that he's shopping at the same store as another connected customer, and that he's looking at the same web pages, you can conclude that there are similarities on different levels, which help you to be more specific in your marketing activities or help you to derive a more accurate risk score. Secondly, graph databases are well suited for analyzing complex hierarchies. If you take a manufacturing example, usually you would find complex interlinked bills of material for the different products or product variants, especially in automotive, where you typically have lots of variants. Graph databases are very good at search or aggregation along the hierarchies and can help to, for example, determine whether the parts in stock are sufficient to build a certain number of products. And the resulting queries are usually pretty compact and therefore easy to maintain. Another typical uh, use case in this domain would be to determine what would happen if a given part is not available. Just by computing all the top-level products with parts ending at this very part would show you the impact. The same approach is applicable in many other domains as well, for example in GDPR compliance or in data lineage. The third capability I'd like to highlight is that, that graph databases are designed to detect patterns and indirect relationships. Our customers in financial services typically use this capability on large networks of financial transactions if they want to identify suspicious or fraudulent behavior. Graph databases are great for identifying circular money flows, for example, which can be indicative of money laundering. Another suspicious pattern is illustrated in the graph on the right-hand side, where rather than transferring money directly from the account on the top left to the bottom right, 
Someone is splitting up the money and transferring it through various intermediate steps. This clearly looks like someone who wanted to obfuscate how the money flows. And the fourth capability I'd like to highlight is because of their schema-less nature, graphs are great to associate entities without restrictions of a prescribed schema. This feature is used, for example, by police forces to support their investigative work. If you represent all entities in a case as vertices and create an edge for each relationship, you could use the power of graph analytics to identify paths, uh, that is, find indirect connections or determine communities. Take the ex-wife here, for example, who has been talking over the phone to a person who in turn was seen at a gym together with another suspect. This kind of indirect relationship can be very relevant. I hope this has given you an idea of how graph databases are being used and how graph analysis can complement analytics in the relational world, essentially giving you a different view on your data. Now, to make it easy for you, for you to get started, we have developed Graph Studio in Autonomous Database. Graph Studio is a complete self-service graph database and analytics environment. It's a feature of the autonomous database, which not only means that it uses the autonomous database as the persistence layer, but it is a fully integrated environment, which means we're managing it for you. Graph Studio includes a modeling tool that helps you to turn relational tables into a graph. It includes a notebook-based environment to work with the graph, and it offers graph visualization inside the notebook. And of course, it sits on top of the high-performance graph analytics engine with its dedicated in-memory data structures and all the built-in algorithms which we've had out on the market for a number of years now. I hope you found this short video useful. If you'd now like to learn more about how to use the graph features of the Oracle database, how to convert relational data to a graph, or how to use the results of graph analysis as input for machine learning, I suggest you take a look at our landing page on oracle.com slash go to slash graph. Thanks for watching, and remember, whenever you're analyzing relationships, think graphs.